society that often measures success by flamboyancy and excess, Robert Guerrero is a contradiction. After winning two world titles, he still lives in his hometown of Gilroy, California. He's a family man, married to his junior high school sweetheart, and living a modest lifestyle. The number one thing is my wife and kids. That's why I step in that ring every time. Now, in a bold move, he's jumping two weight classes to fight in one of boxing's most competitive and most glamorous divisions. I like to take those risks all the time. Jump right in head first. Let's do it. Looking to thwart his ambitious plans is the undefeated Turkish power puncher, Selçuk Aydın. It's Guerrero versus Aydın next. the southern end of San Francisco Bay. San Jose, California is the 10th largest city in America, the symbolic capital of Silicon Valley, and a prime location for combat sports. Tonight, it's the center of the boxing world as a local favorite races for a crossroads showdown that will largely determine whether he has a championship future or only a championship past. We take you inside the HP Pavilion, popularly known as the Shark Tank. In our main event, Robert Guerrero fights for the first time in 15 months and invades the talent stack welterweight division. And for his first test at this weight, the Ghost has boldly elected to face one of the strongest 147 pounders in the world, longtime contender Selçuk Aydin of Turkey. And in our opening bout, undefeated welterweight Sean Porter, who's climbed the ladder on our Showbox series, takes on popular veteran Alfonso Gomez. Hi again, everybody. Gus Johnson here in San Jose tonight. Robert Guerrero debuts as a welterweight. If he goes on to capture a world championship in this division, he'll become only the third fighter to win titles at featherweight and welterweight, joining legendary Henry Armstrong and Manny Pacquiao. Selchuk Aydin is moving up as well, at least.